Yar, har. My name is Deplex. Welcome to Tortuga, a pirate's tale. This video is kindly sponsored by Calypso. And in today's video, we're going to start a new game and get a general feel and look at the game. Um, I'm very excited for this. It's a simulation. It's a strategy game. It's sort of a pirate simulator. Uh, it's got a map. It's got pirate ships and crews and all kinds of things so that we can have a uh, bigger or more in-depth look at in a future video coming soon uh, where I think we're going to focus more on the tactics and the, the ship simulation and sort of the, uh, the crew, the overall... Um, um, sort of management part of the game, but I'm very excited to get in today. And I, I had a look at this this menu before, where you get to sort of uh, uh, name yourself and uh, um, get it, what flagship. Oh, you can name it. Oh, you can name the ship. Oh, cool, interesting. You can have a pirate flag uh, of your choosing and sort of your starting um, settings here as well. I am going to. I just thought about it for some reason. Uh, I think we're going to sort of be a French pirate, so we're going to start in. Um, New Orleans. This is pretty close to Florida. I've been to the Keys. That's sort of the... I, I have no ex real experience of New Orleans. I've been to most of Florida, actually. Oh, Tampa! That's brilliant. We can go to Tampa. You know, as a matter of fact, I think I'm going to pay a little homage to my, my dear friend in in, um, in Florida. He's a very known YouTuber as well. Some of you might get it, but some of you might not. Uh, we're going to call ourselves Robert Le Baron. <laughs> and the flagship... It's gonna be called, let's call it Le Zabre. I think that's like an ugly car model. Uh, let's be a classic, uh, classic pirate. Um, why not? The white and, or, oh, well, there's plenty of colors here. Interesting, uh, there's the white. Let's just do a classic pirate flag. Why mess things up? It's perfect the way it is. Why, why mess with that? Strongest nation, we'll, we'll leave that uh, to be none. I believe if you change this around, some of the cities do change ownership to sort of give one one faction a, a upper hand. I'm not sure why they would lose New Orleans if France was the strongest nation, but none should just reset this pretty much. Oh, it's like the Netherlands getting pushed around the most. Like. Uh, level of difficulty, we'll leave that at regular, and um, we can change a portrait here. Uh, I do... That one's cool. It's a little Frenchy, isn't it? Let's just, let's go with that one. That that's that's reminiscent of another famous pirate. But this should be good. Um, ooh. The promise of liberty and riches readily advanced years ago from the Caribbean to the stifling port taverns of the old world. There it found its way to your ears as well. For you, the passage, a crew, and a small ship were quickly, let's say, rounded up. But now what? Now where liberty, fame, and above all, the riches have yet to come. Your crew's already honing the knives. And if all the next raid brings is merely a few crumbs for each of them again, they'll simply boot you out. Or worse, a truly big catch. The Spanish treasure fleet on its way to Europe, packed so full with riches that it nearly sinks into Neptune's arms all by itself. Now that would help you, indeed. But alone on your puny cockle shell, you'd have to be completely out of your mind to head into battle against the best protected ship convoy in history. You need a better ship to do that, a mm. larger crew, and above all, a gang of insane pirate captains flying your flag, who know precisely what they're doing. I think the entire pirate so, Captain, uh, community is already flying my flag, being the, the classic headed? pirate flag. So, huh. Oh, oh, skipper. oh here we go. Beautiful. The stops last night. <laughs> wow. I wouldn't oh. have thought a human being can drink that much rum. And then your wild ideas that we'll grab ourselves the Spanish treasure fleet. I hope it's clear to you that the crew will take you at your word. Well, you'll get it done all right. But say, you really don't look well at all. Wow, Robert Le Baron and Frederick Barker. That was quite a feast yesterday. You look like you're not quite yourselves yet. What's going on? Who are you? I'll be damned. It's me, your first mate, you drunkard. If you say that, it must be true. <laughs> okay, I'm just going to show you the basics. Yeah, let's get me started. I noticed. 
The main thing is you can still steer the ship. I noticed that there was a WASD command. Uh, I just... For some reason, it was sort of intuitive, uh, being sort of in this perspective of, of the ship, which is awesome. So we can zoom out and in and then steer the ship. It looks like we need to hoist the sails. There we go. Max speed. And here's our mini-map. I believe that would be New Orleans. Beautiful. Look at this. Uh, let's rotate around. We can see the, the depths of the sea, the ocean. We have a French... Uh, sloop behind us of some sort, maybe a little brig. Our oh, oh collision. So we're not we we start in France, but I guess we're not running the pirate. We are running the pirate flag. Yes. Yes. Oh, we're gonna. Arr, arr, okay, so we're gonna plunder uh, merchants nearby. I believe this is the one we're gonna go for. Um, and press right click to mark your target. Get closer to the convoy until the attack is started. Black flag is hoisted. Arr, arr. Look, our sails turn black. This is date deadly. Coming at them fast here. Like Ooh. Easy prey. Trade convoy. 229 fleet strength versus 279. We have a 55% chance of winning, but we'll decide that on the field of battle. Beautiful map. Look at this. Ah, uh, yes. Ah, oh, interesting. Sea battle. We'll be carrying out the major part of our trade there. I can smell the gunpowder already. So, Just take time to make yourself familiar with all the things you see here. When you're done, Navigate the ship closer Choose to one of the friends. marked squares to move your ship to. As you can see, your ship cannot go everywhere because speed, wind, and agility play a major role. And then we can end the phase. I suppose we're supposed to get ourselves as close as possible. They've got uh, 1525. We have 5065 in terms of gun, crew size, and boarding strength. Um, we can deactivate the cannon deck. We shouldn't. They're 100% loaded. And this, this here displays our armor. Uh, and here are a few actions. Let's, uh, let's just move in the direction of the ship. And as you can tell here, the grids marked on our left and right is... Uh, there's, a, there's a good name for that. Starboard and port side. Sorry, I knew I, knew I was going to... I knew there was a word for that. I, um, um, that will tell us where we can all aim and fire our guns. Oh. Well done! In the next round, we ought to get within firing range. Then place yourself so that we can tag them with a genuine broadside. That, it puts us straight in front of them. Uh, this would put us at a nice broadside. Uh, right in the center where the, the squares are the brightest. I believe this is the perfect one. We're going to enter shooting mode. Oh, we're going to fire iron balls. Once your ship has picked up speed, it cannot stop at will. The farther you go in one round, the greater your minimum move in the next, of course. Um... The more filled the field is, the higher the probability your cannons will hit. Good. I I thought I thought about placing us one 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 grid closer, um, but I, I my intuition uh, was correct, and the the stronger the, the the color the whiteness of it, the the the, the higher probability will hit. Um, all ships can fire once per broadside each turn. If there are enemies in range on both sides, you can unleash both broadsides in the same turn. We have it marked. We have it ready. We're gonna fire port side. Uh, grape shot, chain shot, we're gonna fire iron balls. And... Fire! Direction. Oh! They won't take that for long. Don't let up, Skipper! We'll send the landlubbers to Davy Jones! So we have more action points depending on how many crew members are on board. You can hire more crew in town for more action points per turn, but they will... But they will then want their share of the loot. Once the armor is gone and you can start damaging the hull, you can score critical hits. For example, the sails can get damaged using the movement of range of a ship. While some of these effects can get patched up by your crew during combat, others need to be repaired at a harbor master. Uh, they're not ready to fire at us, uh, so I suppose we're going to end turn. It's their turn now to get into some sort of shooting range of us. They're going to move, move in front of us, and they're going to almost miss completely. My turn. Oh, here... This symbol indicates that this field is only accessible because of the wind's direction. If the wind comes from behind, a ship can sail further. If it comes from the front, it may slow down more easily. Let's position ourselves right there. That's going to be in a pretty good position. And then we should be able to fire again. Oh, it sunk. 
beautiful. Uh, I'm not sure if it, if it was meant to sink. Perhaps we should have uh, raided it. <laughs> or, I mean, boarded it. Uh, hopefully we can gather the loot. Let's see what we've captured. Oh my, we were certainly... We certainly were thorough, Captain. Little left of them, but a bit of floatsum. Fl flotsam. Maybe next time we ought to board a couple of ships as well. And we might be able to rescue more loot, too. Just some food for thought. I should have figured. It's good that they put that into sort of perspective. That you can actually sink the loot with the ship. In inspect. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, grain. Non-grain. Some fruits. Some wood. Some sauerkraut. Tobacco pipe. Tobacco grog. Round shot. Uh, do I have to... Um You need to decide which booty to plunder, boarded ships, uh, boarded ships to take with you, and how to deal with captured crewmen. This is our cargo. We can't get it all, because apparently, how, how can we not take the entire cargo with us? That's too much. Uh, so we get to choose what we can, what we can, not bring with us. I'm not sure what, the, what, what's the most valuable, but grain doesn't seem that valuable. Let's confirm that then, I guess. This this should be... Oh, we can bring more tobacco, so if we bring down the, the grain... No, there's no more of this. Alright. That should be it, correct? Confirm. Uh... Oh. Wait, what? Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm definitely not... I'm definitely not daft. What's going on? My cargo is 145 out of 160. Yes. Okay. Wait. What? What? What is? What? What is? Uh, oh. 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 Okay. Okay. So th th we're, this is what we're bringing with us. Okay. Good. 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 Continue. That should have been added to us. Correct. Uh, the first mate smiles at you. Well, Captain, that'll cheer up your bones. And it got us some loot too. How's the head? Uh, <laughs> How's the head? Uh, that was just a small fish. You are absolutely right. We need more ships, but we don't have anyone who is as well suited to be captain as you are. It is possible that someone is hanging around in town. Well, Captain, let's sail into town to let's, uh, ourselves out a bit. Let's have a look at my We're my sure hold. To find a few good seamen in the tavern. Better if we haul down the black flag. This again. is correct. We, we did don't load want this. The people in town to snitch on us right away. Everything we can also we plunder oh. or acquire otherwise is stored in the hold. Here's also where you see what our crew wants to consume at the moment. If you unlock those goods for consumption, that increases morale. Yeah, let's uh, let's have them let's have them uh, eat fruit and smoke tobacco as well. Uh, we could stop them from 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 enjoying this, but that's going to reduce the uh, morale. Um, but this is positive. This is positive indeed. Uh, so we will allow that. Okay, high morale enables you to carry out longer raiding expeditions before you have to divide the booty again. That's good. Um, this does add a significant change, which will um, increase morale. Um, but they don't desire it yet. But if I allow them to have it, they might start desiring it. So that sounds good. Let's set. Uh, uh, let's. Uh, how do I? Black flag. Oh, no, do not f lower the fire. Pirate flag. Thank you. There we go. We're still flying a pirate flag, but secretly, secretly. It's just for show. It's just, just, just for show. Sail to New Orleans and sign on a captain. We're about to sign someone. It's like a, it's like an NBA Land -ho! team over here. Oh, always wanted to say that. <laughs> Remember, Captain? Yesterday, there was rum aplenty here. If Doc. we need supplies, we can get them here. First off. I suggest we go to the tower. Oh, look at this. My throat's all dried out. Beautiful. This is this is fantastic. Look at this. The port of New Orleans, the market, all the people. Awesome. Go to the tavern. Governor? The first man in town lives here. If you want to keep on the right side of a nation, then those are the boots you'll have to lick. Okay. Here's also where you always find out what your current standing with the nation is. Here's the market. The market. We, we can, can sell, sell everything we've captured. Interesting. The market is also the easiest possibility to obtain provisions. 
I've never understood why any convoy wouldn't have a load of rum aboard. It would make so many things simpler. We can sell, uh, we can sell to Matt. We can sell the, uh, we can sell all five of our tobacco pipes to gain some, some money. I don't think we need to do that now, so we'll, we'll, we'll leave that. Oh, provisions. You can sell the provisions, which is that, but you don't sell the food. Interesting. So that's, that's a good way to make sure you don't sell things that's going to affect the morale. Harbor master. It's likely we'll have to head here often. We can uh, to do with the ship can be found at the harbor mass increase the sails he repairs the ships additional sails the rudders the lookout one or another ornament too. the lookout should give us uh, more uh, more range which is good so we can spot enemy enemy ships and whatnot but let's head over to the uh, let's head over to the tavern smell. it brings back memories don't it captain you see that guy back there he looks like he'd make a good captain just what we need break the ice. Divide booty. Join forces. <laughs> Why is it that some of these things? How's the head? And then divide booty. Like, <laughs> oh, sorry. That's probably just means messed up. Buy a round. Buy a round of rum. Maybe someone will join your crew. How much is that? Oh, a tap room is deserted. Only the innkeeper stands bored behind his counter and fills the remains from a few tankards back in the rum barrel. He looks at you questioningly. Is something wrong? I didn't realize that people in New Orleans were such bores. I will come back again later. Oh, well, we should have we should have we should have gone to an English port. Uh, anyway, um, uh, it's like a bar on a Tuesday afternoon. Been there too many times. Irish coffee. No matter which shanty, this man knows them all, and let them eat cake constantly engrossed in books. He sips on his red wine. He seems French. A small man sits at a table surrounded by books and manuscripts. A bottle of wine completes the picture. You approach the table. Hold it. Are you one of those pirates? Standing for freedom and the romance of the sea? Or are you just a cutthroat? I see you have nothing of value. That's no way to start a revolution. Come back when you have loaded goods worth 10,000 gold. Then we can talk. That's not last time he's out of me. But this Irish coffee seems to be um, he's willing. In the furthest corner of the tavern, there is a person lying on a table. Empty beer mugs, playing cards, and leftover food bear witness to a long night. Upon closer inspection, it turns out that the stranger is not sleeping, but mumbling something to himself, barely conscious. Buy the stranger a beer. With bloodshot eyes, he spots the beer and takes a few hearty swings. A minute later, he seems like a new man. Forgive me, Captain Seamus. Shame, she, Seamus, isn't it Seamus? It's not Seamus, it's like Seamus or something like that. Wash. Well, at least in Derry, that is. Unfortunately, I'm, I'm gonna offend so many people with my accent. Unfortunately, I lost my ship a week ago in a dare around Turks Islands. Don't worry about that, I'll get you a ship. Welcome on board. Fantastic. Your silver tongue always does the trick. Mm -hmm. Let's test his skill right away. We'll grab us another trade convoy. All right, let's leave, cast off. But we need another ship, or is he going to be the captain of this? Search and intercept for easy prey. Well, let's uh, not uh, let's let's head out. Let's uh, not hoist the pirate sail this or the pirate flag this close to port. We're going to be out in the open seas here. It's, uh, uh, wind. Uh, I was supposed to talk about wind. Hold on, I I know I jotted it down somewhere. There, let's go for it. This is an easy one. You're much, much faster. Yeah, we're sailing with the wind here. Okay. Oh, we do have one. So He's got a brig. We just, we just got a brig. Interesting. Convoy sits very nicely in the water. Nothing phenomenal, but probably a decent haul. This time, let's try and board them. This, these maps are awesome, by the way. With a second skipper, we can lead not one, but two ships into battle. Yes. That ought to be easy pickings. Let's head over there. Skip that. And then let's move over to the next ship. Um, or can we only move one ship at a time? It doesn't seem like we can select the ship now. It's an ally, so I guess we're in command of this guy. Oh, okay. That's how it works. Makes sense. Oh, we can definitely get some additional speed here with the wind. There we go. Let's end the turn. Let's see where he goes. He's facing us straight away. I think we might want to do... If we're going to be tricky about this, let's load... Let's head over here and let's load Grape Shot. Fire right into him. C 
crew damage only. Fire grape shot. Oh, oh, it's resistant. I guess the armor is helping them that with that. Um, let's position this ship. Um, I can't, oh, the wind here is not great. We can't move this close because the wind is gonna prevent us from from doing so. Let's head over head over front of it. Oh, shaking up heavily. Uh, let's do grape shot again here. It's still resistant. I would have figured at that range that it might have done some damage. Let's see what they're gonna do. They're gonna definitely fire round shot into me. Oof. It's gonna hurt my ship a little bit. So how about a round shot from this? Fire! Let's board. I mean... What are we looking at here? 15, 25, and crew strength 50 to 65. We'll, we'll outmatch them instantly. Boarding's a high risk maneuver. While you can capture entire ships, you can lose your own just as well. This one should be an easy boarding, though. We're only facing one, so. We board. We board. Can we board? Execute. What? It failed. I'll be damned. Can we board again? Successful! So we've boarded now. Don't move, okay. Will there be oh, like boarding action? Here we go. In the eye of the storm. Interesting. I definitely wanted to do something like this. Saber in the hand. Only a few feet away from our certain doom. Here you see the balance of power. The better it looks in our favor, the greater the likelihood that your daring plans will work too. Now all okay. you have to do is decide how we're going to proceed. Right, this is interesting. So there's a few different things here. Uh, we've got the 50 crew strength and 100 morale. They've got 15 crew strength and 100 morale. Um, this will cost us a bit more morale uh, and lower the initiation cost with two. Press for victory a bit further and you'll fall apart against your superior numbers. Or take your time with this matter. You have the advantage. It ought to stay that way. It's going to lower the initiation cost. But great, greater chance of success. There we go. Nice. Hurricanes are we good. Oh. If it keeps going like this, we'll need larger treasure chests soon. For sure. Let's inspect the loot. Um... Uh, some round shots, some grog, dried fish this time. Yeah, there's more sauerkraut. Good, good, good. We'll take that. And then we'll take over the ships as well. Interesting. Now we have a fleet of three ships. Let's get down to business. And divide Cut the booty. On our crew won't take it on the chin forever. At some point, they'll want to see a few gold coins too. Aye, aye, aye. The morale is good here. We'll have to divide the, the crew gets 30% uh, morale when end. going ashore. The mood is lively. Could be better. That's making everything spin. Then we'll give the crew what they deserve. Drum up the folks and let's split up the loot. Yes. Sail back into town and we'll clear it up over a mighty swig at the tavern. A mighty swig. Let's divide the booty. Um, interesting. Um, wow. So in your one days at sea, your crew has managed to raid two convoys, capture one ship, plunder 53 barrels of wares, and obtain 12,820 gold. Um, not so fast. I still have a few questions. Why should I share my gold? What a strange tradition. Um. Interesting. So let's divide the plunder. You're the captain. So you can also specify how much of the booty you want to share. The more the uh, crew receives, the better they'll find it, of course. Interesting. But a bit of advice from me. Don't give them too much. They'll get used to it. The next time, they'll expect just as much. That's They're not going to like that. Um, but this time, they're going to like it. The crew's going to be happy with this. You make fewer promises for the next raid and still get re-elected as captain. Let's give them an uh, elite amount of gold. Nearly lead amount of gold. 6% plus effect on a crew's approval. The crew thinks you're the best. 
Like no one has been before you. Oh, that's what my girlfriend tells me. Anyway, the crew thinks you're a master of piracy. The sea is your kingdom and every ship is fat booty. <laughs> Fuck, I love the language here. Sorry about my own language there for a minute, but this is so funny. The crew thinks you're a daring daredevil who can't be matched by any opponent. He's happy about it, too. With time, you and the captains Ooh. are becoming more and more experienced. Skill points. When you've amassed enough experience, you ought to split up. Nice. 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 Well, we're definitely going to have a, a deeper dive into this in the next video. This is cool, man. We got new abilities here. Uh, enables allies to be healed. Prepares a volley for uh, approaching enemies when they come at you. That's interesting. Um, it's going to overwatch. Uh, challenge enemies to attack you. Heads down. That's good. The ship sustains 25% less damage due to bombardment as long as the effects last. So you can you can enable the effect, and then that works. Boarding frenzy increases boarding strength and board, boarding probability. That's that's good. We need that to capture more more ships. Let's just start off from the top. There's more to it, and we can unlock more simultaneous. Yeah. So, Captain, you Ooh. probably thought you were done with divvying up the gold and could sail on now. No. Nope. Sadly, no. We still have to draw up articles of capture for our next cruise. We pirates just ah, love cruise our wishes. and codes. It's quite simple, too. Ducats, to that's a, a gold ducat. Wild promises to the crew, and the boys elect you captain again. So some of these but give you out. a higher... If you don't keep your pledges, they'll hold it against you. Okay, well, this one's easy to accumulate booty. Some of these are the, the lower the lower rating, the, the easier they are to get uh with a, with a with a bigger backlash if you fail it um divide the looper person ducats after sea battle that's i guess just handing out money um four thousand gold that's a lot uh hire seamen another 129 i believe like we could cap definitely capture a new ship that's gonna give us some plus let's do that they're gonna need more improve ships that's it kind of costs eight thousand sink three ships win sea battles i'm not sure how long we have to do this Good impressions on France. I'm not sure how we do that. Um, we'll have to look at that. We are, after all, working with France. Perhaps we can have some, you know, get some some uh, some, some quests from the governor. And let's uh, plunder some uh, convoys. Uh, that's what we do, really. Uh, so yeah, let's promise that. R cast off. Perfect. Well, then put your signature here, here, and here. <laughs> Do you want to keep a copy for your files? Good. What? Things can move on now. Looks like they're wearing, like, rice field hats. Anyway, so, that if is you're truly serious it. about the Spanish treasure fleet, then we ought to visit an old acquaintance of mine. Back then, he was mate on a Spanish ship that freighted gold and silver to Europe. He's an old geezer now. <laughs> old but he geezer. might have a few bits of useful information for us. That is, if your mug suits him. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Look forward to another video coming out soon. Once again, thank you so much to Tortuga, Pirate's Tale, and Calypso for sponsoring this video. There's going to be a link down below to the store where you can buy and play this game right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Leave a like and drop a comment, and I'll see you guys soon again. Ciao.